TPMS center out of the Tesla. So yes, I also want to incorporate this into the Land Rover, of course I do. Um, so high pressure monitoring would be even more useful in the Land Rover doing four wheel driving. The issue is, here's my Land Rover rim. Land Rover, uh, the rims on this are designed for tubes, They're not designed for tubeless. Uh, although I now run them tubeless because they're heaps better tubeless than with a tube. I used to always get punctures with the tube. You just get a little bit of dirt between the tyre and the tube and you get a puncture. Pain in the ass. Um, so I've converted them all to tubeless. Trick with that is you've got to change the valve because uh, um, tubed rims have a bigger bigger hole and you've got to put a, this. Uh, these are bobcat valves which have a bigger hole too. Tubeless bobcat valves. Um, so that they work really well in the Land Rover, but the problem is This is to designed to go into a hole for a tubeless rim and As you can see That's not gonna fit. Well, it's gonna fit, but it's not gonna seal. So I tried to get bigger ones of these Dowdy washers, Dowdy washers a washer with a bonded rubber seal, but I couldn't get any that were big enough. So what I'm going to do is got a uh, bigger washer, just a standard 10 millimeter inner diameter washer. So that will that sort of replicates the size of the hole in a tubeless rim. So that will seal there. But then obviously I need a seal against the rim there otherwise it'll still leak so just made up these washers with the uh, car in the tube so they go in there so now that will seal uh, the next problem is well it's not really located in the hole there it can float about a bit the securing nut thing will just go straight through the hole as well so that's not going to work so I've 3D printed these, which are threaded. And these will both locate the thing in the middle. This is the same size as the hole. And it also clamps, when you tighten it, it clamps these together to hold the, this TPMS sensor, otherwise it's just loose. So I've got to get the TPMS sensors out of the rest of the Tesla rims. Tricky is not to let it run away and hit you in the head. So I've got my hoist here with a shitload of weight on. I need a few goes at this. The hardest bit, it's actually fairly easy breaking the bead, so to speak, but there's a little lip just that we can't see here that the tire's grabbing on. It's not much of a lip. That's the tricky bit to get it over. Got it. That's the hard bit. Doesn't look like much. There's a, it's a very small little raised bit there to help keep the tire on. So yeah, once it's through there, it's much easier. Um, but I've got to take it down at the valve side. Got it. Close. We're in.
And that's what we need to recover. 11 mil spanner. Okay. And that's what we need. I'm gonna put these tires back on the car to hold it up. So I'm just gonna put a uh, standard valve back in. Bit of rubber grease. Stuff it up in the hole. And I've got a little adapter. I think this is for my bike, actually. I don't have a proper valve installer thing. But if I screw that on, like that. Nah, I'm not too worried about these rims. They're already a bit marked, so there we go. Pulled up. Valve back in. And then fill my round up with Sky. Come on, in you go. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm getting pressure. It's gonna pop, it's gonna pop. It's gonna pop. Ready? It's gonna pop. Pop, pop. Sound of success. Now I just gotta put this back on the car. Next stage, get the Land Rover wheels and fit the sensors to them. Now I want to make sure I put the TPMS sensors off the Tesla on the same corners that they came off because to change the position of them you need a TPMS tool and access to Tesla toolbox. Then you need to run the sensor learn program in Tesla toolbox and enter the uh, sensor ID that you've gathered from the TPMS tool. A valve in. Nice metal dust cap on, and we'll chuck it back on the car. Job done. All the TPMS sensors are in. Next step, we wait for a while and hopefully tomorrow I don't come out and there's four flat tires. A few days later, I went down to our other property a few hundred kilometers away and it was a great opportunity to test the TPMS sensors at both high and low pressures. Mainly just to make sure they weren't gonna leak. Sliding down the hill isn't the most fun thing in the world, so I'm just going to let more out, give me some grip. There we go. More of a, more of a balloon now. Also a good uh, test of my uh, Tesla TPMS sensors. Tires still on. Let's go down the hill. This is the steeper here. We're sliding. The trick is not to lock it. Got my foot very lightly on the brake, so the trailer brake sort of worked a little bit. Just let the engine keep turning the wheel, basically.
So I'm glad I uh, took air out of the tyres. But uh, this is the pain. I've got to put the sky back in. Another uh, massive benefit of going electric too is like, I need to keep the car running to keep the 12 volt charged to be able to run the pump. And it's noisy and it stinks. 